Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Pillow here. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you guys again and thanks for coming back and um, this is going to be the first episode of uh, What's Lit. So essentially it's going to be me sharing what I learned on YouTube and what is trending right now and the things that I found um, interesting and I would love to share with you guys and hopefully you guys will enjoy this series too and uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, comment in the comment section below and um, here we go let's get started so guys if you guys haven't seen this video yet it's absolutely crazy it's been on YouTube for only three days but it's got over 10 million views so basically the stars in this video are Dolan brothers or Dolan twins switching lives with Jeffree Star. For those who don't know who Jeffree Star is, he or she, actually he, um, does makeup on YouTube. And I just look up for his net worth. It's 50 millions, guys. 50 millions. It's insane. Everything's pink. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my god, what's up, guys? What's up? How are you how are we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling kind of ready. Hey everyone. What's hey. good? How are you guys feeling? Are I'm not gonna to lie, me? I like was nervous before I fell asleep last night. So essentially the Dolan twins are going to dress up as Jeffree Star for one day and experience what it's like to be him, right? And you know with the makeup and also the wig and everything. It's crazy. Guess how much just the wig costs. Go. Okay, I've never had that done before. I've never worn a wig, like a professional wig. How much do these wigs cost? Uh, okay. One custom wig, fully pink, and then installed would be two racks. Yeah. $2,000 $2, just on my head. Bands on my head. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Holy like cute I'm gonna feel kinda cool, yeah. you know? It's like a cute Louis bag on your head. Just the wig alone costs $2,000. That's insane, guys! What the hell? Now you guys obviously have real eyebrows. Yeah. Now yesterday yes, I had eyebrows put on, now we're about to cover yours. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm hearing this correctly. Jeffree Star just said you guys have real eyebrows. So what is he trying to say? Like he doesn't have real eyebrows? Like his eyebrows are like gone, they're just like painted on or something? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> so I think one thing that everybody has to get used to is how rich Jeffree Star is and how much he just loves to show off all the stuff that he has. Show off. <laughs> so no one really ever sees this. I haven't really ever shown this on camera before. Oh, really? Never? Yeah, it's like my, my secret pinball collection. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Good morning. Who needs a pinball machine collection? It just doesn't make any sense. Nobody plays with that. I mean, last time I went to a bar and they had a bunch of pinball machine. Nobody was even touching it. And I put in a dollar. I play around, you know, a couple minutes and I lost and that's it. But not Jeffree Star. He needs a bunch of pinball machine just to look at. It's decoration for him. Pinky out. You gotta do pinky up. And uh, cheers to an uh, amazing, crazy day. Let's do it. <laughs> I like it with the straw. You wanna know why? Because the metal keeps it cold, so it's cold until it reaches the top. And this is what I call Jeffree Star logic. It doesn't make any sense at all. If you guys just drink the Red Bull directly from the can and put your lips on it, it's the same thing. The first thing the liquid touches would be your tongue, so it's cold all the way too. So you don't have to drink from a straw at all. It, like, it's not logical at all. But this is what happens when you're a man and you're also a woman. You just become illogical. <laughs> so guys, McDonald's has a new item on their menu. It's called a basic bitch cheeseburger. So it's essentially a cheeseburger without the cheese and also the patty. Um, and someone has taken a bite out of the patty so it looks like a heart shape. And next time you guys go to McDonald's, just give your cheeseburger to the hobo so they can take a bite out of your cheeseburger. And there you go, you guys got the basic bitch cheeseburger. <laughs> it's only like there's a bite taken out of mine. Why does it kind of look like that? It's a basic bitch cheeseburger. Wait, right. this, this is pretty uh, appetizing. This is too much bread. And I hope McDonald's is able to learn the lesson from this video. When you're serving Jeffree Star, the burger can only come with one bun. Not two buns, just one bun. I wonder if that's how Jeffree Star prefers his man to, you know? One testicle, one nipple, I don't know. <laughs> Huge. Or maybe I just have a big head. I actually had to cut it. For that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, bomb structure. 
<laughs> so guys, it took them forever to put on the makeups and the results are absolutely ridiculous. It looks like they created two monstrosities. It's like two Hulk put on a pink wig. It just looks crazy. But I have to say, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, it really resembles Jeffree Star a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of digging the look. This is wow. insane. How are we? How are you guys feeling? I, I, I don't know. We look like strong, not, not like myself. <laughs> we look like pink lemonade. Guys, this is where the video sort of turned into MTV Crib. You know, Jeffree Star showing off his house, showing off all the bags that he has. And this is where I learned something super interesting. I mean, I heard about Hermes before, you know, the brand Hermes. But I have never heard about the Birkin bags. So supposedly these are the legendary bags. And if you are able to own one of these, you are pretty up there. Yeah, that's so I don't own anything from Hermes I've heard, either. I've heard of the name like Birkin bag, but... Yeah, in every rap song. What does it mean? Yeah. Um, it's a style of a bag. So Hermes obviously is a designer, you know that. And then yes. this is the Birkin bag. Oh, okay. So like this is like the epitome of like every girl's dream. If you are like really into fashion, this yeah. is like status. There was a whole episode wow. on Sex in the City about how to tame one. Yeah, what? and this is one of the most rarest ones in the world. How much is this one? Ah, uh, that's like 165,000. What? <laughs> yeah. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys know, these bags are actually made from real crocodile skins. And I did a search on Google and the result actually came back and it's absolutely insane, guys. And here's what it says. Birkin, better investment than gold. Skip the gold and stay away from the tumbling stock market. According to a new study, the best option for a long-term investor is to buy a Hermes Birkin bag. They say that the annual return on a Birkin was 14.2% compared to the S&P average of 8.7% a year. And gold's negative 1.5%. This is crazy, guys! Get back, seriously. Yeah, so we're gonna just rock these all day and just live our lives. $165,000. Yeah. So these are more, uh, they hold value better than gold. So like in two years, this will double in value. They're really rare. They don't make a lot of these. Wow. So it's like having a rare painting or a rare car. It's yeah. just in a, a bag. Yeah, it's, or it's like having like 10 cars. Yeah. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Or one. <laughs> so guys, after learning this knowledge, I don't think I'm going to be investing in stock anymore because I always lose money. I don't think I'm going to be investing in cryptocurrency anymore because I lost a bunch of money. I'm going to be investing in Hermes Birkin bags in the future. You heard? <laughs> we have some of the most rarest ones Crazy. where it's crocodile with full diamonds on the hardware. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is beautiful. These are all white gold diamonds. This would be probably like... 220,000? Yeah. 220? Yeah. So what's your most expensive bag? I would say, you saw this little one, I would say this Big Daddy. This is a Kelly bag. It's probably say like almost 300,000. Because they're so rare, yeah. Catch, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. This is the first time I heard a bag that can cost $300,000. Just give me that little diamond on the bag. That's all I want. I don't even want the bag. I just want that little diamond thingy. Just give that to me, I'll be happy. I think when you're a girl, it's probably every girl's dream to have the most luxurious, expensive bags in the world, right? Like just in a collection, like Jeffree Star. But you know, to a guy, all these bags, they look the same to me. They look exactly the same. Like what's the difference besides the size? I mean, some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit smaller. They all look exactly the same to me. Guys, okay, sure, let's pick something. Oh, we'll blur that. <laughs> Demonetize. Okay, so the I mean the iconic Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. I definitely think you oh, should. Shit. One of you needs to wear that. Oh, I will rock that. Okay, that's sick. And then I think, what do you want? You want to do J Star? J Star, I'll do J Star. Yeah. Okay, that's sick. And then yeah. what do you think, you guys? Should I do Mr. Diva? Yes. 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 Um, how much is this? Oh, that was custom. So that one was like. That's like 50,000. Yeah, oh rose gosh. gold and all white gold diamonds. This is a gift from Morphe, okay. so I don't know. And of course, guys, when you have the Birkin bags, you also gotta have some bling bling to go with the style, right? 
So it's not too much. It's only fifty thousand dollar for a custom chain. It's nothing, right? It's like fifty bucks for Jeffrey Star. Fifty bucks. Just give me one, Jeffrey Star. Come on, please, please. <laughs> All right, guys. Holy! Oh, oh you love it! My oh god. my god! Yeah, look at the license plate. Mr. Diva. <laughs> perfect. This Shade is all Jeffrey. matte paint, no wrap. It's all oh real. Oh my like, god! Look it looks like a Barbie car. This is paint. Yeah. All paint, yeah. I got everything sanded down, repainted, new upholstery. Look at that V10 with the PK. Right? Okay, so I'll take the Lambo. All right. Oh I'll take the other Lambo. Thank God I have full coverage insurance. And, and, two, <laughs> and two Lambos. Exactly. Yeah, you, got, you have to see inside. It's okay, so this is the 2016 Huracan. It looks like so new. Oh, oh my god. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. yeah. All right, here's your key. Thank you. Hop in, maybe I'll, I might need to give you a tutorial. Whoa! I don't know guys, just the pink Lambo and also the pink Tesla. Like for some reason, I'm just not digging it so much. And also why does a lot of people like matte paint? It doesn't make any sense to me at all because a matte paint essentially doesn't have the clear coat that's protecting it so if you're driving outside let's say like a bird just dropped like a poop on your car right the paint is done like you have to wipe it off like right away if you just let it sit there and it dries the paint is done you have to like repaint that spot so they went outside the Louis Vuitton to do some shopping right and I just want to say when you're a superstar or when you're famous it doesn't matter how you look who you are someone's gonna want to hump you or hump the window. <laughs> get people in the next door overlooking. Hi. Oh, wow. look oh at my this. gosh. Oh, Holy. Hey, look at wow. him dancing. Yeah. Oh. I don't like a gift or anything. We actually yes. have it for a mom and, and my sister. And our oh, sister. I love that. Okay, cool. All right, so this one looks sick. I saw this on the runway. Virgil is killing it. You guys already know. I'm obsessed with this one. Anthony, how much does this one go for? Uh, I think 54,000, but honestly, Jeffrey, you can't put a price on happiness. You know that. Perfect. All right. Bring her up. Guys, right, so I just wanted to say that's like one of the ugliest bag I've ever seen. Like, I, I don't know what Jeff Star see in this bag, but it's like so big. It's so clunky. It's just like, oh my God, so ugly and so expensive too. $55,000. But that salesperson though, wow, that's probably like the best salesperson in the world. You can't put a price on happiness. Well said. Well said. Next, Jeffree Star had Dolan twins trying some like dress, right? Oh my god. These are like probably the most hideous dress I've ever seen in my life. Like who likes these kind of dress? Oh my god. I just can't even look at them. I cannot. Especially with the Dolan twins in them. It just looks hideous. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, why did they look stunning? You think so? I can honestly tell you, we never envisioned this. Oh my wow, that salesperson though, like, I just like him in a way that I just want to slap him. <laughs> I just want to slap that salesperson so bad right now. Honestly, I was really hoping like one of them would just walk down the aisle and sort of just trip right in that gown because it just looks so bad in so many ways. Like, just take them off, please. Take them off. Yeah. Okay. $6,500 flannel. I just want to say, guys, if you're not a millionaire, don't shop at Louis Vuitton. I mean, the stuff is just ridiculous. It's overpriced. $6,500 for a flannel. Who can afford that? I can't afford it. You guys will not believe how much they spend at the Louis Vuitton store on just one single day. So it's time to check out. Um, I can't believe the day is almost over. This is I crazy. Know. Guess my grand total. Guess the grand total. 62,000. No, uh, no. 67,000. 60, 65,000. Whoa. 69,145 cents. That's a mile. That's like one of the most, like, least amount here, maybe? $69,000 guys, that's insane. That's like, if someone works at McDonald's uh, for a minimum wage job or something like that, that's like double or triple of what they make in a single year. That's insane, that's how much I make in a year. Well, a little bit more than that, but damn. 
him. That's a lot. Oh! 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 How they're how they coming? This is messy. Oh, there it is. It's coming. Um, don't say that. Okay. I'm gonna be out of the bathroom. And finally, guys, the wigs are coming off. I have to say, they look way better just being themselves. I'm so sick of seeing them in that pink wig and those like ugly dress. I am so done.